All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four legs scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Charles of War. Back at you again with another lesson. And this one going to be quick. Um, I just saw this video uh, just a few minutes ago. And uh, the title here is Man Shot in the Chest killed over grass clippings dispute in st louis county all right and this is uh the news out in st louis kmov channel four and um you know it just this just shows you why the lord said pray not thou you know for these people meaning of his own people which are considered or let's say the ones he numbered to the sword which is going to be destroyed all right, because Jake is a bunch of ninjas and the women are a bunch of harlots. And there's really no help for them. And the only help is destruction. Now, from watching this video, which I'm going to play and I might skim through, it looked like they, you know, just speculating. It looked like they was trying to rob him. You know, he must have pulled out the money because he thought these guys were uh, going to cut his yard. And they got the truck over here. Whether like they cut cut grass maybe for a buck, but they probably look, probably was trying to rob him, you know, when he pulled out the money or something, tried to strong on him. He gave up a fight, and then you're gonna see this guy come from the truck with the with the chopper, <laughs> you know, some machine gun, and uh, killed the guy, you know. And he was a family man. He was a father, you know. Don't look like, you know, he uh, a, a, a wild one, but. You know, Jake got 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 uh sins that are that are um that are worthy to death. You know, we're Israelites. And this is a prime example why you must fear Yahweh by Shimmy Shai. Alright? You must repent. Alright, and ask the Lord for mercy. You know? And now the children done lost the father, which looked like he was a family man. You know, he probably done got out of the streets or whatever. But so anyway, I'm going to play the video a little bit and then go from there. It is video that only tells part of a story right now, a story that is still being written tonight. No matter what the final chapter is, this man's life is over from a fatal meeting and his family devastated. Thanks for joining us at 10 on air and wherever you're streaming. I'm Corey Stark. Samantha has the night off. That man's death appears to be over lawn care, a lawn care disagreement. And News 4 has video leading up to and after the clash. News 4's Ashley Lincoln is speaking to the victim's family about the shooting that happened in Glasgow Village in St. Louis County. Ashley is live following that investigation tonight. Ashley? That's right, Corey. The victim's family telling me tonight that this was a senseless act of violence. Again, as you mentioned, this was all over a yard debris dispute regarding grass that was cut from the neighbor's yard. Tonight we're learning that police are reviewing surveillance camera from that home to figure out who's responsible for this shooting. This is four shots to the chest. Why? That's the question the fiance of Alan Waller says keeps her up at night. We were good people. Why? See, and that's the problem with Jake. They think they're good people because they live according to the traditions of men, all right, and Esau's false philosophy. I'm pretty sure they believe in Jesus Christ. Pretty sure they might hit a church on on a on an Easter Sunday. You know, they probably eating crab crab shrimp, lobster, pork, worshiping pagan holidays, celebrating birthdays. You know, doing what niggas, doing what ninjas do. You know, and she's devastated. You know, her husband is gone. She's devastated. But she said we were good people. According to the scriptures, nobody is good. All right. Except for Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Even Yahweh Shai said that. All right. When um, he spoke and said, you know, why is thou called me good? There's only uh, but one. And that's the father. But now we can say Yahweh Shai is good because. Yahweh Shai is sitting next to the Heavenly Father on the right-hand side, all right? And he's going to come back mighty to save, you know, those of the elect, you know? 
Waller, who's also a father, was gunned down in his driveway Sunday morning. All we did was, was go shopping for the kids and come home. His fiance, who didn't. That ain't all what you did, because the scriptures say the Lord belongs the issue of death. You know? And them, hey, we're in a time when the Lord is pouring out judgments, man. Pouring out judgments, you know? And it's always Jake getting murdered, you know, every day. But, you know, things are just getting worse and worse and worse. You know, more senseless murders are just happening. I remember Elder Apostle Tahar, a few months ago, he covered the story where where he, you know, he did a little lesson on it, um, where there was a, a son having a dispute with his father and had a shootout with his father. So it's just crazy, sh crazy sh shit, man. Want her face shown for her safety, says after errands and coming home, Waller wanted to talk to the neighbor's landscapers about ongoing issues from them leaving their debris in his driveway. Home surveillance video shows the female neighbor walking two men to Waller's doorstep. After the men confirm, Waller takes them to the side of the house to show them the debris. His fiance says that side of the home doesn't have cameras. Within seconds of being out of frame, things go wrong. Eight seconds go by before you see the neighbor sprinting across her lawn. And soon after, a third man appears from behind a truck with a gun. Waller's fiance, who was inside the home with their children, describes the gunshots. I saw shh, whatever type of gun it was, that's the shots I heard. I went to go see my man. I see he's on the ground. I immediately went in to grab my phone to call 911. I reached out to St. Louis County Police, who say they can't comment on where this investigation stands, but they do say detectives have an optimistic outlook on this case. Yeah, because the woman next door looked like she's in on it. You know, I ain't about to be an investigator and keep wanting these clips back. But from what I've seen, either they tried to rob him or either there was retaliation or not retaliation. It was just a, yeah, retaliation because I guess the debris, he was complaining about debris, uh, garbage being in his yard or whatever. But when you see him coming out to, uh, to talk to them, he says, are y'all the guys that cut grass or something, something. And the neighbor next door was escorting them. But you see how she didn't go in the back. But anyway, uh, let's move on. Let's make this quick. This is Jeremiah chapter 11 and 14. It says, uh, move down. It says, therefore, pray not thou for this people, neither lift up a cry or prayer for them, for I will not hear them in the time that, that they cry unto me for their trouble. All right. And the Lord is talking about you Israelites, two thirds, man. He told Jeremiah, not to, not to pray, not thou for this people, all right? Pray not for these people, neither lift up a, lift up a cry or a prayer for them. Because Jake deserve every bit of uh, judgment that comes upon them, man. They deserve it, man. You know, killing this guy for what? You know? If he ain't had no beef with them in the street, what you killing this dude for? That's why I said it looked like they probably tried to rob him. See, he says, do y'all cut the grass? So he don't know who they is, whether he was set up by this woman here, his neighbor, or they was just trying to rob him. He might have pulled out some cash, probably told him how much to do it. Who knows? I don't know. Shit. But the point is, you know, if they didn't have no beef with them, what they kill him for? You know, shot him four times in the chest. So this is why, you know, us of the whole four elect, you know, the Lord said, worry about um, Sidney Apocrypha. He said, uh, don't worry how the ungodly is going to be punished, but worry about how the you know, the, the godly is going to be saved, roughly paraphrasing. All right. So it says, therefore, pray not thou for this people, neither lift up a cry or prayer for them. And Jake, you know, you got these little knucklehead bastards. All right. These ninjas and harlots that get killed in the street at a young age before they 21. But they be so wild and reckless, you know, causing trouble to adults, stealing cars, you know, especially you know, let me say the city that I'm in, okay? And then when they when judgment catches up to them, all of a sudden they putting up a, a basketball picture or football picture when he was seven or eight years old as if he innocent. You're not innocent. You know, you do evil, evil gonna come upon you. It says, For I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. And ultimately we're going into Jacob's trouble. All right. When there's a famine of food and water. All right. Elder Apostle uh, uh, 
uh, Rum Lob just did a beautiful edifying lesson today, which I uh, missed the live stream, but I caught, you know, the back end of it, okay, the recording of it. And uh, one thing that stuck with me is what he said for you women, you know, and this goes for these the wicked women, obviously, you know, if you, you know, in order, you know, stay in order. All right. This don't apply to you. But for you wicked women, because it's more of them than it are of you decent women. Right. That beauty is going to be a curse in that day. All right. A lot of men is going to be looking to ravish you. These women out here with fake boobs, fake butts, you know. Make up on their face 24-7, you know, and, and in that day when lawlessness happens, you're going to be preyed upon because of your beauty. So you're going to need a man, you know. So anyway, the Lord said, for I would not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. So the Lord is not going to hear you when you cry out. That's in the book of Proverbs, too. But I got like a few more minutes. Uh, Proverbs, the first chapter, the Lord said he will mock at your calamity. All right. He will mock when your fear come. Roughly paraphrasing. Now, this is Jeremiah chapter 15 and 1. Then said Yahweh unto me, though Moses and Samuel stood before me. Yet my mind could not be toward this people. Cast them out of my sight and let them go forth. And, 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 it, and it shall come to pass if they shall. Let me read that again. And it shall come to pass if they say unto thee, whether shall we go forth then thou shalt tell them thus saith Yahweh, such as for the death to death and such as for the sword to the sword and such as are for the famine to the famine and such as are to, for captivity to captivity he says and i will point over them four kinds saith Yahweh: the sword to slay the dogs to tear the fowls of the heaven and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy so basically the lord told Moses and Samuel, his mind cannot be for these people. All right. He said, yet my mind could not be toward this people. Talking about two thirds of his own people. Cast them out of my sight and let them alone. Uh, let me get my last precept here. This is in the uh, Apocrypha. This is 2nd Edris. 2nd Edris chapter 9. Chapter 9 and verse 19. It says... For then every one obeyed, but now the manners of them which are created in this world that is made are corrupted by a perpetual seed and by a law which is unsearchable read themselves. So I considered the world and behold, there was peril because of the devices that will come into it. You know, scriptures say men sought out many devices, you know, right? Many different ways to sin. It says, and I saw and spared it greatly and have kept me a grape of the cluster and a plant of a great people, which is talking about the elect. All right. Because within the Israelites, the 12 tribes, you have an election that's going to be delivered. And then the rest of them is going to be destroyed on this side. But in the kingdom, they're going to be good because why? Israel shall be saved, but it's going to start through Yahweh Shai. And through the election of those that was chosen for salvation. All right. The first fruits. So it says, and I saw and spared it greatly and have kept me a grape of the cluster and a plant of a great people. Let the multitude perish then, which was born in vain. And let my grape be kept and my plant for with great labor have I made it perfect. All right. So it says, let the multitude perish then. Which was born in vain. So two thirds, man. These niggas, man. Alright. And the dude that was in the car up here that came out with the with the with the automatic, you know, killed this guy here, you know, for no reason. I'm guessing. You know, over a dispute over yards. You know, whether trash was in his yard or they wanted to rob him, acting like they were people who cut grass, man. And it shows you that's why you have to fear the Lord, man. Fear the Lord. Because that was judgment, you know. It's harsh. It's, it's to the to the you know person you know to the world and being emotional, you know. Well, the Lord, heavenly Father's not emotional, and the Lord know how to get you in your security, man. He says that. Who he says that, man. Don't tell you to come to the Lord. Um, let me see if I can go to it real quick. 
uh, the book of Sirach, the fifth chapter. Yeah, uh, let's see if I can get right to it. Uh, let's see, did I pass it? Uh, bear with me, Salakia. I'm just read through it. I'm gonna read fast. It says, uh, Sirach five and one. Set thou heart upon thou goods, and say not, I have enough for my life. Follow not thy own mind and thy strength to walk in the ways of, of thy heart. And say not who shall control me for my works. For the Lord will surely revenge thy pride. See? Say not I have sinned and what harm have happened unto me. For the Lord is long suffering. He will in no wise let thee go. See? Because judgment is going to come. It says concerning propitiation. Be not without fear to add sin to, unto sin. And say not his mercy is great. He will be pacified for the multitudes of my sins. For mercy and wrath come from him. And his indignation resteth upon sinners. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. And put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. And in thy security thou shalt be destroyed. And perish in a day of vengeance. So that's what we see. He was in insecurity. Came out the house. Didn't think of these dudes as nothing. Alright. And then bow. You know. Gone. You know. What he least expect. Security. Representing when. You know. When you sleep. The Lord comes like a thief in the night. You know. So make no turn to turn to the Lord. For those who are. Uh, shot, uh, sh uh, you know. Uh, window shopping, you know, and uh, debating whether it's the truth or not. Well, you better get it why, why, why it's hot, man. Okay, you better uh, seek the Lord while he may be found. It says, Make no turn to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day, for suddenly, you know, suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. This is why you don't play with the Lord, man. we supposed to fear Yahweh by Shemiah was shot, okay. We fear the script. Uh, Apostle Paul said, uh, "We know the terror of the Lord, so we persuade men." You know, and also when you look up the word fear, you know, not only that it means to fear someone, to you know, be afraid of someone or what they could do unto you, but it also means respect. We are supposed to give our Father Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, okay, who laid his life down for us, Yahweh Shai. We supposed to give them the utmost respect. So that's why it's important for us of the knowing. Us of the circumcision to handle the word of the Lord with honesty and truth, you know, and not pushing off a, a, a wicked vibration or a wicked image of the Lord, because we're supposed to be ambassadors and messengers and prophets of the Lord teaching his truth, you know, and that's goes out for them guys in the different camps thinking they could do whatever they want. You know, it's a certain behavior. We have to behave in his truth. All right. The Lord, our Father de uh, deserves the uh, utmost respect, man, and, and, and desires to be feared. It says, For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in a day of vengeance. So this was judgment. The Lord said he belongs to the issue of death. All right, if the Lord didn't call for his spirit, he'd still be here in that flesh. But the Lord called for his spirit, you know, and you got to ask yourself, well, what did he do? You know, and these guys, these guys are gonna get it, man. Even worse, you know. So don't, hey, the Lord said, pray not thou for these people, man. All right, as apostles uh, 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 say, you know, as they elders say, if they can't get it, we're moving on, man. You know, you don't get a headache because these dudes can't get it. You can't save them. You can't even uh, save yourself. You know, we don't have the physical power to save ourselves, but we do have the knowledge and wisdom and understanding of the Lord. To give our, uh, to, um, to work out our, our salvation with fear and trembling. All right. To, to, uh, make our call and election sure. So we're hoping and praying that the Lord show mercy unto us so we can save no one. All right. Just like, um, apostles getting into, you know, they can't save us. All right. Brothers on down can't save you. You can't save yourself. All right. So this is why, you know, you have to be, uh, in fear. 
Once you lose that fear, you out here like wild animals, and these girls are gonna pay for it, man. You know, even her, if she's in on it, it look like an Edomite. But I don't know. But anyway, Lord well, I pray this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakhakodash, double honest to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.